What can I say? Mamba out. Yes, Mamba out, died on 26th of January, 2020. I'm saying may his soul rest in peace. And of course, his wife, Vanessa Bryant, and the Bryant family requested that the NBA uh, shouldn't bring up Kobe Bryant's passing in the form of tributes. And today, the 26th of January marks the one-year anniversary of perhaps the most sorrowful day in American sports history, the passing of the Lakers and NBA great Kobe Bryant. We have Femi Adifeso on standby, and uh, he would, uh, he's a huge Kobe Bryant fan. And uh, he's joining us this morning. Good to have you with us, Femi. Uh, thank you for having me, Udoka. Yes, uh, thank you very much. You, Let's you're right about to... that. You yeah. huge Kobe Bryant fan these mm -hmm. days. And um, it's, it's, it's just sad that um, it's one year recognizing this person. Like, it's hard to even still believe he's not mm -hmm. that with us yet. Yeah, true. And, uh, Femi, can I, sorry, yeah. Udoka, can I ask you a personal question, Femi? Um, what, what, what basketballer could you put in Kobe Bryant's level? At this point, so we've, mm. we we have uh, Anito Kumbo, Gian, yeah. and, and the rest of them. Which basketballer could you say, okay, good, is on Kobe's level at the point he will get there, you know? Mm. Okay, th that is growing towards there or that towards is there, 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 there as soon <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to pick. I think the, the, only, the only person I can see right now is LeBron. To LeBron. Be because mm. I tell people this very, very, without missing words, that the closest thing to Michael Jordan. Is Kobe Bryant mm -hmm. and um, LeBron is on another level. It's just like calling Steph Curry when it comes to shooting. He's on another level. You know, he's somewhat a great, but when you're looking at you know the way the dynasty has evolved from Michael Jordan, who's like the greatest, um, I think Kobe Bryant just comes right behind him there. And then there's LeBron, who is great on another side. So I think LeBron is the closest thing to Kobe based on you know his achievements, his leadership, his ability to push a team. Because Kobe is different. His mindset, his ability to carry his team on his shoulder and wanting to win. But I'll be modest here to also say that I think look at Doncic and um, with the way he's growing yeah. and his feel for the game, which is so natural and very intrinsic. I, I, I think he's one player that looks um, like he would be as great you know, as Kobe as time goes on. Mm. You know, um, it's one year now, and his wife, Vanessa, has said that she doesn't want any tributes from the NBA, and the NBA have actually respected this. Do you think it's... Uh, because, I, I mean, the love for Kobe Bryant is massive, so it's very difficult for us not to see tributes out there, especially on social media. Right. I, I think it's good for the family, because uh, it's, it's, it's really tough. It's a tough pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. And I know she she's struggled a lot with it. Having... You know, three girls to deal with all by yourself. Um, yeah, a few players like Paul Gasol has been really close to the family and yeah. giving some kind of support. But well, I'm sure it's, it's just difficult for her to you know keep seeing all those pictures. I remember a particular time too, uh, where she said, "You know what, guys, we have go, we might likely take down his page and all that stuff. Please don't use his pictures. Um, we don't want to keep seeing those things because he really still hurts and they've not been able to." to move on as it were. Mm. So I think it was a very humble request from her. And, and I, I'm, I'm hoping, I mean, tonight that a lot of those things don't happen. Because also, I mean, it's, it's, it's people's favorite. And these teams, you know, want to celebrate him. Even yeah. though it's, it's, it's posthumous, it's still a celebration of life, you know, and the greatness of the player who Kobe Bryant was and the, uh, when Wiley was here. Yeah. So... Uh, you might want to understand the conflict of interest or the various angles, but I think we should respect Mrs. Bryant's um, wishes on this one. Uh, it's really tough on the kids, uh, from what I've gathered, and especially ourselves too, from all the pressures that have come our way. Hmm. All right, uh, as we go, um, let me ask you this. What's the fondest memory of uh, Kobe Bryant? Mine was the fact that he scored above 50 points in a single game. Uh, that point scoring thing, definitely. Mm. Uh, but I would say the buzzer beaters. As exactly. a child, um, growing up, you know, even in the classroom, when you want to throw um, waste paper into the, into the dustbin, you will count down five, four, three, exactly. two, and then try to today, we still do it. You just try to it. <laughs> you know, in there. So that is the highlight of everything mm. for me. But the biggest impact has to be when he tore his Achilles and he still walked up all the way to shoot those two three-pointers against Golden State Warriors in 2013. And he limped off. That that was that was unbelievable. Because mm. I can imagine the amount of pain he must have been going through, but he showed art 
And that's exactly what separates Kobe Bryant from the rest of the players who have played. You know, mm. His approach to the game and his, his belief in, in winning, regardless of the price he had to pay. Mm. All right, thank you very much, Femi Adefesa, for speaking with us this morning about Black Mamba. Pleasure, always a pleasure, Oduka. Thank you for having me on the show. I'm big of um, Wally Scott. Always a pleasure seeing you. Actually, well. <laughs> all right. Uh, you know, I, I, think, I think Femi has just said it all mm. when he says that um, even in pain, yeah. a legend, mm -hmm. a great person, somebody who will conquer, will still go through that pain. Yeah. And that the, the only thing he sees about Kobe is the day he actually was playing a game in pain, got injured, yeah. limped off, but still, I've seen Taribu West do that, you know, got his head bandaged and came back on mm -hmm. in pain. And I think that's what makes a legend. Exactly. Even in pain, you are a conqueror. I think that's mm. the idea. Very true. And of course, his jersey numbers, 8 and 24, was retired by the LA Lakers and he will keep on being celebrated. It's a celebration of life, but we'll continue to say, may his gentle soul continue to rest in Amen. peace. Amen the Mamba out. That. I'm Odoka and Jock. Hope you enjoyed the package today, Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. Thank you, Wally, as always. Thank you very much. Adoka. Keep it locked down to Plus TV Africa as we give you the best when it comes to TV programming. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm.